Well, well, well. Um, let's see, it's Tuesday. It says 10.58, but it's 11 o'clock, because that clock is two minutes slow. Even though it's supposed to, it's supposed to, um, you know, the Internet's supposed to tell it what time it is, and it's always two minutes slow. Anyway, I got a package today. I already, I already opened it up so that, because Pam brought it to me. And so I opened it so she could see what it was. Just share the share the love. Anyway, there we go. Pretty cool. I just took it out of the box. And I got all these papers sitting on me. There's more too. And there it is. And I've mentioned to one or two of you privately that I am going to be starting a podcast. And um, I'm thinking twice a week at first. But anyway, there's my tool. To, it's my podcasting tool. <laughs> I haven't turned it on yet. I did put the memory card in. It came with a... 32 gigabyte memory card and two batteries, triple C, triple A. So I've got those in, but I have not yet turned it on. Anyway, that's my, that's what happened. That's my, what happened so far today. Lots of calls. It's been really busy. Um, you can see the water there. It rained here. We had some good storms last night. And then... But down in the Bugman area, apparently they're getting good storms today because I've had a lot of cancellations and reschedules because people say it's raining too hard, which we would change it anyway, so they call. It's no big deal. If the technician feels they can't do a good job, like rain is imminent or the ground's still too wet or it's raining or whatever, they usually call, or they do call the customers and change the appointments, but... If the customers call me first, it saves the technician the time. So that's all that's going on right now. My great big burning bush. I can't wait to see it this fall. Uh-oh, the door opened. I think Pete's here. There he is. There's Pete. So I'm going to go and tell him what came. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi, right, guys. Guess where we are? Okay. I've shown it to you so many times, you know where we are. Look at that sky. Anyway, we're on our way to look at a lot that we've been looking at online. We're going to go look at it in person. And, uh, you know, see how it looks, see if it looks as good as the pictures. Um, it is 7.36. And the temperature is 81. Oh. Pam is silent in the back seat. Pete is, of course, getting gas because that's pretty much all he ever does. We stop for gas about every other day. I'm on hold. Well, Pam's on hold in the back seat. Walmart. So we're going to see about this property. I've been in contact with the guy that owns it. So next step is for us to go look at it. And um, I'll, probably, I'll probably share. So I will see you guys, you know, when we get there. I'd say West Branch is halfway. It's halfway between West Branch and Casey's house, pretty much. So... You've heard me talk about uh, our friend Brandy. She she lives in that area too. And it is just you know that restaurant where I got the best chicken fried steak in the world. It's just around the corner from that. That restaurant's in White White Star. And this isn't in White Star. It's not a White Star address, but it is like just around the corner, pretty much. All right, I will see you guys probably when we get there. Bye. Okay, guys, we are here. Ouch. It's very up northy, as my sister would say. It's wooded. 
heavily wooded. Heavily mosquitoed. It's got a nice pad to park the RV on. It's got electric. It's got a sewer already put in. So right there is a lot of money into it. It's got over here a fire pit, a stone fire pit. It's two lots, so it's that lot and this lot together. So it's quite... I notice next door, which is fairly close, they have two German Shepherds running around with no leashes, so that's not good for Maisie. Hope none of these has poisoned something. That's a fine, that's a good size. Um, pad. There's something down there. They have a, um, they have the sewer things. There's a picture of that, but I'm not sure where it is. But there is one. Should be, but they may have just had to take it wherever. Looks like they maybe had a fifth wheel on here because they got another pad right up here in the front. Close neighbors, but there's some privacy, so. We may have to fence it in for Maisie. Because of the dogs next door, who knows? Well, there is one. I just, I don't know where. It might be tough to back in. You're right. It's got tiki lamps, electricity, probably no water. Oh, yeah, and campgrounds they are. Farming on the RV. Oh. Yep. Sorry, just killed a mosquito on my camera holding hand. The houses on the road back here, we're at the end of the road, but the houses on the road leading back here are all um, real nice, real well kept and everything. Back in the RV on Yep, that's fire pit, yep, saw that. Well, I know there is, we just don't know where it is. I'll have to ask him. Well, we don't have to worry about a lawnmower back here. That's a good thing. But yeah, that's the lot. It's pretty big, two lots actually. And then of course there's somebody's big barn over there and house across the road. Alrighty then. Can't use my squawker here. Why your pad's not level, it's angled down. Probably for rainwater.
would be my guess so it wouldn't get flooded. Well, I'm getting chewed up. This is a nice spot. It's a very nice spot. Very nice spot. Place next door. They got a couple big leggy German Shepherds. They're waving, so they're nice. But I'll show you the, the, the houses down here are all real nice. Oh, they got flags in their yard. I bet you they're doing a wireless or electric underground collar thing with their dogs. That's what those flags are for. I like the site on the boat there. It says old school. Good deal. Yeah. Yeah, see the houses are, are nice. Everything's all nice. Well kept and everything here. So, on the road. Those people, they got a big, nice big dog that's not tied up. I don't know, maybe Maisie could learn to get along with the dogs. Don't know. Anyway. Obviously, we wouldn't be building a house down here, so it doesn't matter. It's just a matter of... Yeah, that's cool looking. I like that big deck across the front. I pay six thousand for that place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna turn this off for a minute. Yeah, I had to turn the uh, cell phone off because people were sitting out there watching me record as I drove as we drove by their house. So, and right down there, about less than a quarter of a mile, is the mighty Titabawasi River. Some place down here. My sister lives in Albury. Which sister, Debbie? Yep. Oh, this would be convenient then for her to come and visit. Yeah, she could show me where the bar is up there. Yeah. It's funny, funny, yeah. They bought a bar and they're they're working on it. Yeah, they're working on it to get it in shape to open. Anyway, and here, right down the street. Oh, look at that. that's a pretty building. That's a beautiful building. And then here right down the street is the mighty Titabawasi River. See some boats down there. Of course, you guys remember we cross the Titabawasi River all the time when we're in Saginaw. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that would be that would be a pretty nice spot. Here's a little grocery and gas station. There's a little restaurant. Hardware store open seven days. Another gas station. Not too far from the fire department. Of course there's a Dollar General. <laughs> Actually it's closer than it looks on here. It's uh yeah, it's right there. <laughs> so yeah. Yep, I like the area. I like where it's located. But. Okay, guys, I am going to uh, shut you off for the long drive home. Mm, see you later. Bye.